Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Wednesday, January 9, 2019. Here's an update on flying by the 1938 custom runabout Chris Craft, uh, who is receiving a true 5200 bottom. Uh, RJ and Joe are engaged in the last fabrication step, probably without question, I think neither will disagree, the most disagreeable, painful, tedious step in this process, and that is mounting all of these battens between the frames. RJ's down below, Joe's up here. Joe, why don't you sort of talk us through the process? All right, so right now what we're doing is we're pre-fitting them in before we slather the bottom sides of them with 5200. Um, so RJ is underneath and what he'll do is he'll take the batten and line it up where the screw holes were. And what we'll do is we'll pre-drill down through it so that way when we're trying to put the batten, fasten the batten to the boards, we're not fighting each other back and forth because RJ has to push up on this batten while I'm pushing down on the screw. So if it, when it's pre-drilled, it's a lot easier. He doesn't have to put as much pressure and it, it tends to kind of fall in place a lot better. Um, so RJ is underneath there now and I'll have him get the batten up there to get the first two pre-drilled. And then you pull it out and butter it yeah, with... Yeah, and then we pull it out, butter the back side of it with 5200. Uh, and it's about the same consistency, about an eighth inch all the way across the entire batten. Um, you really want a nice bead all on this whole thing. That way, make it watertight. And then, once Joe and RJ have set each of these battens, and they have completed their work on the uh, port side of the bottom, then it's uh, my turn for the other disagreeable part of this process, which is filling every one of these countersinks with 3M premium marine filler. You can see I've started working on the port side of the bottom and we'll go through and I, I go through three times and uh, after the first application I hit the whole bottom with uh, 80 grit on a Festool orbital sander, vacuum it all off, blow it out with an air gun and then go back and apply a second and a third coat after which we will work hard to make this bottom absolutely fair, absolutely smooth and ready for the three coats of clear penetrating epoxy sealer that will follow and after that. Once we've applied the three coats of clear penetrating epoxy sealer, we will apply five coats of Interlux, Interlux 2000E two-part barrier coat primer and epoxy. We apply five coats to get the requisite film thickness per Don Dannenberg. And once we've got all five coats on, alternating between white 2000E and gray 2000E so that we can find the holidays and see them clearly. The bottom of the boat will be very much like a uh, the roof of a a slate roofed uh, house with all the tiles overlapping one another forming an absolutely impermeable barrier. Now as we walk down here we see that Joe has begun the work on the top side. These are the preliminary screws or is that already buttered with? <laughs> this is not buttered, this is uh, preliminary. Alright, Joe, why do you stand all the screws in the holes first? Alright, so the reason why we want to do that is one, it makes it a lot easier once they're already in, you can go down through the batten a lot quicker, um, but as soon as you go to start after the batten has been lathered with 5200, if you don't have these screws all in the holes, as soon as you start tightening this one down, it's going to start shooting 5200 up from each other one of these holes what you don't want. So a whole series of little volcanoes. Correct. Well, let's not have volcanoes. So as Joe temporarily screws that batten in place uh, pr prior to applying the 5200 onto it, uh, we'll end this update on the 1938 Chris Craft 19-foot custom runabout flying by. Thank you so much.
Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boat Works.